Good afternoon, I'm Steve Poland with the North Carolina Division of Marine Fisheries. Uh, we're out here on the Atlantic Ocean, about 25 miles south of Moorhead City, and we're snapper grouper fishing. I want to take a moment to talk to you about safe handling and safe release of snapper grouper species. One of the primary uh, management concerns with species in the snapper grouper complex is discard mortality from a uh, hook and line release. Because of that, the South Atlantic Council has implemented regulations to require the use of descending devices um, when fishing for or in possession of snapper grouper species. These descending devices release the fish at depth um, to allow them to recompress from barotrauma. Barotrauma is simply trauma that occurs when a fish is brought up from depth to the surface, the eyes bulge out, the stomach extends out of its mouth, and this isn't good for the fish, and it could cause the fish um, to die upon release. Today, we've got two different types of descending devices here, and I'm gonna walk through rigging up both types of devices and show you how to use those devices out at sea. First, we have what's called a Shelton descending device. This is probably the cheapest and the easiest device that you can use for descending fish. And it's simply an inverted um, piece of wire that you attach a weight to and lip the fish on this and send it down. Next, we have the more expensive option, the uh, sequelizer. And this device has a pressure release inside that you can set to different depths. This particular model you can set to 50, 100, or 150 feet. You simply attach that to your main line via this long line clip and attach this to the lip of the fish and then drop the fish down and it will automatically release the fish. So first, show you how to set up the Shelton descending device. It's very simple. All you need is a heavy weight. Uh, the regulations require that you have at least 16 ounces. Right here, I have a 24 ounce bank sinker. I've got 200 pound monofilament leader line. I'm gonna cut this off about three feet. And I'm simply going to attach the weight on one side. Crimp that down using a pair of crimpers. And the other side I'm going to attach it to the Shelton device. And if you notice, I've made this leader with the weight very long. And this helps in uh, using the Shelton device because it gives you enough free line that once that fish, once you have that fish attached to the Shelton device, you can lay this line out, drop it down, and it gives you enough slack that it'll drag the fish down. If you had it too short, um, it might not deploy correctly. Next, we'll show you how to um, rig a, a, a sequelizer device. It already comes with a long line clip, so it's very simple just to clip onto your main line. Today, I've got an electric reel set up over here. Simply attach the weight. This is a uh, three pound weight. And you take the long line clip and attach it onto the main line. Sometimes it's beneficial to have a, uh, a loop in the line that you connect it to or swivel above it so the sequelizer doesn't slide up and down. And so I've done a, uh, a bimini knot on this, so I'm just gonna put this inside the bimini knot and there. And that's a rigged and ready sequelizer device. Well, today we've got a uh, vermilion snapper. This is a legal size snapper, but unfortunately we've already caught our uh, boat limit for the day, so we're gonna release this fish. 
So you simply open the sequelizer device, close it around the jaw of the fish, and then slowly lower it into the water. And on my reel, I've already got the bell open and the clicker on so it doesn't backlash on me. And I just let it go. Alright, and there we are. And the fish has been released. I also want to show everyone how to use the uh, Shelton fish descending device. Again, we have a beeliner. Again, we're over our limit and we want to release this fish. So I already have the Shelton device attached to my rod and reel and the weight attached. So I'll take the hook end of the Shelton device and slide it through the thin part of the beeliner or vermilion snapper. And then we'll take the fish, and he's a lively one. We'll take the weight, hang it out to the side, and drop the weight and release the fish at the same time. And the Shelton device requires the angler, once the fish is at depth, to jig the rod so the fish will come off the device. And then simply, Reel the rig up. And there you go. Simple as that. Fish released. Thank you for joining us offshore today. Again, it's every angler's responsibility to ensure that the fish resources that we cherish and love are managed for future generations. So that's why descending fish is important. Again, for the snapper grouper fishery, the largest source of fishing mortality for these fish are barotrauma from hook and line releases. So please do your part, release the fish that you do not want to throw into the cooler and any fish that um, are below the legal limit and have a great day.